The Letcher County Fiscal Court took action Monday evening to declare that the county will now be a sanctuary for the Second Amendment. That means that the county will not use its resources to enforce laws that may be contrary to the United States Constitution and particularly the Second Amendment. The Letcher Fiscal Court voted unanimously to approve declaring the county a Second Amendment sanctuary. The dozens in attendance at the meeting gave the court a standing ovation following their vote. Many in the audience gave impassioned addresses in favor of the resolution by the court. Don't give up your guns, because if you give up your gun and someone has one, right. you're at their mercy. People can't even go to church and, and without you know, having to have someone there with a gun to protect them from evil. Yeah. And it happens every day. But there's always a good person with a gun that stops a bad person. And that's what we have to do. They came to a section, the Second Amendment, to protect you from them. That's right. And <laughs> now, I'm not inciting violence or nothing, but until the people, uh, the common people in this country, stands up and says, we've had enough. No. And we've got Franklin, we've got Richmond, we've got Washington. Yeah. If we take it, we take it. <coughs> we take the rifles with us, and we take ropes with us. <laughs> Bring them out there and hang them on the street. Line. We are going to self implode on ourselves. If we don't start telling our leaders, hey, you work for the people, the people don't work for you. If the American people allows our guns to be taken away, then I truly believe that America will not stand. No, we want to try. The resolution in Letcher County comes on the heels of a Second Amendment sanctuary declaration in Harlan County and precedes planned declarations in Pike and Floyd counties. Officials said they were concerned with proposed gun laws in other states, namely Virginia, and they felt they should act. With all the issues going on in Virginia, we've had several people, like people in my district, come to talk to me about it. I'm sure everybody on the fiscal court has heard this. And uh, so we thought, well, we needed to be proactive and go ahead and do something about it now. I think the American people as a whole feel threatened by the very people that we've put in office that are supposed to be doing our bidding, they have uh, went astray of what the American people wants, in my opinion. I think the Second Amendment right is, um, is guaranteed by the Constitution, and it not only protects America from outside tyranny, but as well as right here on our home ground. The resolution, they said, will be forwarded to Frankfurt and to Washington, D.C. Now, Judge Executive Terry Adams told me that he does not believe that the action taken by the fiscal court Monday night would be necessary had former Governor Matt Bevin been re-elected. Reporting in Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, Mountaintop News.